pitches in the dirt. See if they can continue. His numbers brought to you by Western and Southern. First pitch popped up. Mask off. And Grandal watches it sail to the seats. Shift is on against him. 0 1. A little early on the off speed, just foul. A normal rest. 0 2. Way high. The cease comes off his best, biggest part. No walks. Now that's been his issue, Lark. The fastball that rises too much. Has that late movement. He can be incredibly effective. However, you can't locate it. As you can see on those last three pitches. And hit a batter. Swing and miss. Gets the strikeout of wing. 100 at home. Out in front. And that's the pitch right there. That looks like a heater coming out of his hand. And there it is again. Now the weird thing is. Way have had Castellanos catch an air. Just misses. He thought he had him. One two. But those lefties you see those. One two. Misses inside. Giolito and company at Harvard Westlake. Castellanos keeping him on. Cease has strikeout stuff when he commands. Back to back Hayes in the knuckle curve and a changeup. Whoa, up and in on Joey Votto. Check to swing. Strike. Way sees the shift. White Sox don't shift a ton. Fisted ground ball. Gobbled up. A brave. A one, two, three. Nine innings pitched in his first two years. That's a lot. Breaking ball down. The knuckle curve to Mike Moustakis. He gave up 12 in 58 and one third innings last year. And you can see the first two pitches to Moose, a fast key to his success with that high velocity fastball. And there's up and in heat. And the lefties do walk a touch more. Most lefties like the ball down, most righties like the ball elevated out up over the plate. Into the netting. And that is a one, two. Got a piece, caught clean. Three K's for Cease. Spectacular game last time out, Lark. Yeah, Gino showed a really good approach. Continued to build on that. He homered. And when Cease is off, he could be off by a lot. We showed the number out of 80 pitches. Check swing. Appeal. He did not go. We write our own Jamie Ramsey in the PR department. 3 1 down and away. Suarez walks. That's the Reds' first base runner. <laughs> that would be on his better off red block. Tyler Naquin fouls this one straight up in the air. Anderson the call and the catch, which is a must read. And he's a must. John Bay slugging. First pitch. There's another knuckle curve for a strike. Not full capacity, but at times it sounds like it. He's right. It was that type of atmosphere. <laughs> oh, two. Down it in. Also like the honesty of Nick Castellanos on the post game. Suarez, a secondary lead, and this pitch is hammered but foul. Crushed by Barnhart. Yeah, I think. Catcher laid away. Pitch very high in a way. And Cease is going to this knuckle curve a lot. Well, he landed. 2-2. Two -two. He lands it. Strike three. Zuski at 35. Wally Post at 36. Frank Robinson set the rookie record with 38. 
Jonathan India takes ball one. Dylan Cease misses wide to India, who has not played before. Now he talked about one of those things where rookie comes up and they don't have a book on you yet. They get that book awfully quick, especially now with all the video, the further analytics that they have. Week and readily admitted, I have to make the adjustment. Way inside, and India's aboard. Considering the velo and the movement that Cease can have. I was just thinking that same thing. You look for a pitch out away from you where you can get your arms extended. <laughs> Toughest pitch to bunt is a fastball in where it's understood why pitchers in a bunt situation have a tendency to throw the ball out over the plate. I've never understood that. They're in fair territory and get the bat head out and just catch the ball. India goes. The bunt try to first. Abreu lobs to Madrigal. India a large lead. Here's a strike. J.D., you mentioned the book. Check swing, appeal. He did not go. Advanced scouting is there, and, and you don't sneak up on anybody anymore. Now, that's an unhittable pitch. Yeah. 2-2. Two -two. Way high. We're up. In the dirt, and Winker walks. Red Superman, Nick Castellanos. Now first. There's the slider lives in the lower 80s. That's way high. Fastball away, swing and a miss. Castellano. Two on, two out. Strike one on Joey Votto. Cease's stuff received heat. Swing and a miss. And the White Sox staff should know a thing or two about that. 0 oh, 2. Fastball by him. He has super stuff. Back to back. Toyota dealers. Mike Moustakis, first pitch, fastball, up and away. Struck out first time. He's like the ball down and in. I think Moose is a guy that will just hit the ball in, period. So I think the way that you try to pitch. Anyone. And sees a huge part of that. Ball one. Looked great entering the year. 1 0. Just clips for a strike, but they entered with an ERA in the bull and has allowed four home runs. And that can be the concern for Cease when. Three and one. And he's following through a little oddly here. 3 1. On the ground, a second. Madrigal. Two away. Many had cited Cease as that great unknown, the X Factor. He's always been known as a. Grounded weekly. Abreu's got it. And Dylan C. Ball early in the game has been the key to his success. Quite high to Tucker Barnhart, who was struck out looking, has spoken about. 
upstairs off speed that he thinks about a lot of things before he goes out there and does it. I wish I could be like that. There's a reason why he's real methodical. Chronicled his growth from an 84 mile per hour fastball as a high school freshman to the big leagues. Sky to right, Eaton in that thin trail of foul ground that finds the stands. To go along with that, John. When I would struggle, I would close my eyes and try to see myself be successful. You know, the the, the concept of close my eyes on a ground ball, sometimes a lot of times I miss it. <laughs> oh, that one is ripped into right field. That gets down the first Reds hit of the night. And listen to the crowd. He, that catching core has really been good offensively and defensively for the Reds. The Tuck is having a fantastic season. And now right at. Executes a good pitch. And that's that's the key right there. His ability and he's shown is hard to hit regardless. But his elevated fastball. Just for the meditation but also for flexibility these days. Oh, nice pitch. That sees buries the ball in the glove, shielding eyes from the grip. Called strike three. Sal Romano. Strike one. Swing and a miss. That's unfair. High heat swing and a miss. Eight shots for the Reds since 1906. Strike one. Alex Blandino's on deck. Bounces, gives a path. Barnhart on a wild pitch, claims second. One two fouled hard one two again high and tight on the winker this in you can't miss over the plate to major league hitters that is on the black Dylan C strikes out the Alex Blandino stands in takes a strike at his first plate appearance. But it was lost on the exchange, so then he flipped it up to the fan. Out in front. And we also get word that it looks like. Could say rejected, but I've seen the man dunk a basketball, so. He's got. Pitching is ridiculous. I mean, like. Two six descending breaking ball. Carson Fulmer up in the Reds pen. Votto. Hops out of that ball's path. 1 0. Check swing. Ball down. Appeal. No go. And Hamilton. Ball in the gap. Or to see his defensive ability out in the outfield. When he came up as an infielder and converted to the outfield. M pointing at Billy Hamilton. No, you can't take him. He's too good an athlete. No, best athletes are out in the outfield. <laughs> That's what Eric told me. He's a phenomenal athlete and it's fun to watch him run. That one is boomed. Foul. And I know Jim Day used to get along with Billy Hamilton. Billy, what did Billy used to say to you? On every time he sees me in English, beat it, nerd. Strike three, a career. Strike one. He'd look up, but he couldn't see where it was. <laughs> Mind games. Don't forget some way. Back to cease. This guy does it all. Thank <laughs> you.